The legend of the vampire has been told for centuries, capturing the dark shadows of our imagination and inspiring filmmakers and actors to breathe new life into the undead. But there's never been a vampire like Barnabas Collins. What is this? Some specter approaches. Have at me, Lucifer. My soul is prepared. I'd always been sort of attracted to horror films and things like that, even as a very young kid. I said, Tim, we should do a vampire movie together. My name is Barnabas Collins. Two centuries ago, I made Collinwood my home, my love, until a jealous witch cursed me, condemning me to the shadows. What have you done? For all time. I could see right away that he had a, a passion for it. Nosferatu with Max Schreck was one of my favorites. Dracula, of course, and Bela Lugosi. Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney. Christopher Lee certainly is one of the greats. It was a real treat getting to work with Christopher. I mean, the guy's a legend. Barnabas Collins. Collins? Why does a Collins want to talk to me? One of my favorite moments I've ever been able to experience in a film was I got to hypnotize Dracula. I got to hypnotize Christopher Lee. Look into my eyes and deliver me your innermost thoughts. He was, you know, the great Dracula. You have been chosen. Welcome home, Barnabas Collins. Surely you are aware of the darkness that has plagued our family. He was a very reluctant vampire. I am terribly sorry. I cannot imagine how thirsty I am. For Barnabas, everywhere I searched character-wise, I kept coming back to Jonathan Fred. He really did something beautiful with that character on the Dark Shadows series back in the 60s and early 70s. Have there been others like myself? Oh, you're the only one I've encountered. If you look closely during the ball, there's the original cast members from the show, including Jonathan Fred, the original Barnabas. They walk through the door as guests. Welcome to Colin. There's great humor in it, but great humor that comes out of very serious issues. I simply seek advice on the art of courting a woman of this time. You obviously mean Vicky. She has the most fertile bursting hips I have ever laid eyes upon. You're weird. Do you really think so? About tapping into vampires, witches, ghosts. The reason they're powerful because we all kind of experience those feelings on some level. If a man can become a monster, then a monster can become a man. It's something that remains in our popular culture because it's strangely part of our everyday lives. I see that you have grown desperate enough to sell off the family silverware. How could you tell? These are exact replicas. At this fork in real silver, my hand would have burst into flames upon its slightest. See for real? Baby, I